Hi guys, welcome to my video. So for today I'm doing my lunch meal prep for the week. If you're new here, my name is Molly. Thank you for joining me. And I do weekly breakfast and lunch meal prepping. Always really healthy, very simple and quick meals. So lots of ideas. If you're new, check out my channel on everything that I've made in the past. And don't forget to subscribe as well and click the bell button so that you get the notification each time I post a new video. So for this video, it's gonna be my lunch for this week. I'm gonna make spaghetti squash. So this is a really great alternative for a pasta. It's really delicious, low carb. I'm gonna have tur ground turkey, have no sugar added spaghetti sauce, uh, spinach, and Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna cook all this up for my lunch this week. Um, right now I have the oven preheating to 400 degrees. So I will show you how I cook up the spaghetti squash. I'm going to cut the squash lengthwise, so I'm going to stick my knife in and cut it through. Now these are pretty hard, so be careful. So once it is cut through, I'll open it up. And it has seeds inside. So I use a melon baller because it's um, pretty sharp and it's really easy to just scrape um, the seeds out and I'll just discard them before we get ready to cook the spaghetti squash. So I have my cookie sheet lined with my baking mat, which I absolutely love. I will link these in the description. Um, I just love using it. It's really great for an easy cleanup. So I'm gonna put some olive oil on top of the spaghetti squash and brush it around so that it is covering the whole spaghetti squash. I'm gonna add some uh, salt. I really like this cracked salt and I'm gonna use cracked pepper also. So I'm gonna add a little bit of each onto the spaghetti squash. And then I'm going to turn them over on the baking mat and I'm going to bake this in the oven at 400 for about 30 to 35 minutes and it'll be really nice and soft. So while that's cooking, I'm going to make up my ground turkey. So I have it on the stove. I'm going to break it into lots of small pieces and cook the ground turkey all the way through. Once the ground turkey is all cooked, I'm going to add in the rest of the ingredients. I have the no sugar added spaghetti sauce. This is really great, um, nice and healthy. And I'm gonna add in an um, entire bag of baby spinach. So I'm gonna pour all of that into the pan and I am going to put the lid on so that the spinach can uh, steam and wilt up. So it's gonna take about six minutes or so. So here it is all done and it is really delicious. So I'm going to let this cool while the spaghetti squash is still cooking. I'm gonna add in some Parmesan cheese. I love the extra flavor that Parmesan gives. So the spaghetti squash is out. It has cooled because it is really hot when it comes out of the oven, so it's been cooling. So I am going to kind of fluff them and let the little pieces of the spaghetti squash just come apart. Um, those are really great. They're like noodle shaped. So it's a really great alternative for a spaghetti or a pasta if you are on a low carb diet. So I'm just gonna kind of fluff these around and um, then it'll be ready to add on the ground turkey mixture. Okay, I'm gonna add on the ground turkey with the sauce and the spinach, and I'm gonna put that on top of each piece of spaghetti squash. So once I add everything on, I'm gonna bake in the oven again for about 10 minutes just to let all these flavors mix in together and then our meal prep will be done for the week. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so the spaghetti squash is all done and it is cooled. So I am going to cut it in half and portion it into my meal prep containers. Um, I have these containers that I use for all my meal prepping. They're really great. Got them on Amazon. I'll link these in the description if you need some new meal prep containers. These are glass, great size. So I'm gonna cut my spaghetti squash in half and our lunch will be ready to go for the week. All right, so this spaghetti squash is really healthy, really easy to make, a really good alternative for pasta if you are on the keto diet or low carb. So check this recipe out in the description if you wanna make it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. I hope that you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.